As is well known, our blue home planet needs 24 hours to rotate once around its own axis. A complete revolution around the sun takes about 365 days. The natural laws of rotation that the Earth follows have a direct influence on our daily lives. Accordingly, the planet's own rotation gives us a fixed day-night rhythm, while the journey around the sun creates the different seasons on our globe. In view of the natural constellations and the resulting effects in our solar system, an exciting thought experiment becomes pertinent. What would actually happen if the Earth's rotation suddenly stopped? We would like to explore this exciting question together with you in today's video. Excited about the amazing phenomena and discoveries of the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to Simply Space for regular updates about breathtaking spectacles in space. If you like the content of our channel, we'd be very happy with a thumbs up. If the Earth suddenly stood still, the rotational effects of our home planet that we experience on its surface every day are expressed in the consistently alternating day-night rhythm. However, we quickly forget that the Earth in reality rotates around its own axis at a rapid speed. Specifically, the galactic intrinsic rotation speed at the equator amounts to about 1,038 miles per hour. At our latitudes, the Earth's rotational speed is about 620 miles per hour. Let us now assume the theoretical case in which our planet loses momentum as a result of an event not defined in more detail before it slowly spins out and finally comes to a complete standstill. What effects would this circumstance have on the Earth? And which changes would we have to be prepared for in this case? The results of such an event would be simply devastating. The first change we would notice on the Earth's surface would be the fact that the Sun would practically stand still in the sky. In fact, the apparent motion of the glistening star in the sky is generated by the Earth's own rotation. If our blue home planet were to gradually stop, a terrestrial day would no longer last 24 hours, but would take about six months. If the slowing down of the Earth's rotation were not gradual, but abrupt, the direct consequences of this process would be even more noticeable. Within the scope of such a cosmic emergency breaking, all objects on the Earth's surface would be hurled at one blow in an easterly direction. The buildings, boulders, trees, and also the people would be carried away in this case with a speed of several hundred miles per hour. Effects on Human Beings over the course of millennia, we humans have grown accustomed to the fixed changes of day and night. We have in fact perfectly adapted our lives to 24-hour days. We have fixed time windows in which we sleep, are awake, work, and spend our free time. If the days were no longer to last 24 hours, but half a year, our biological rhythm would understandably become completely unhinged. The body's own processes that signal when it's time to go to sleep or get up are therefore closely linked to the daily changes in incident sunlight. But other terrestrial organisms also depend on this existing rhythm. A change in these familiar cycles would therefore throw the behavioral patterns of countless animals and plants, which have existed for many centuries, into hopeless chaos. The Changed Face of the Earth what applies to the inhabitants of the Earth can of course also be transferred to the atmospheric patterns of our planet. These are likewise closely bound to the existing Earth rotation. If the Earth stopped rotating, this would completely change the known characteristics of the air currents. Wind patterns, as we currently know them, play a central role in controlling temperatures and precipitation. Any change in these detailed interlocking natural phenomena would also lead to the sustained transformation of our world. For example, where forest landscapes currently flourish, we could soon find barren deserts. At the same time, areas that are currently hostile to life, such as the frozen tundra, could develop into habitable regions. The consequences of this natural transformation would be simply catastrophic for the organisms that have been native to the existing areas for many millennia. One half of our planet would be almost continuously illuminated by the sun, 
while the opposite side would be characterized by a bone-chilling darkness. The main currents of life would take place in a narrow twilight zone between these two areas. This area would not remain stationary over the course of the considerably prolonged Earth year, but would slowly move around the surface of the planet. Also, the characteristics of the oceans are in direct connection with the steady rotation of the Earth. If the planet were to stop rotating on its own axis, the oceans would slowly but surely drift away from the equator towards the polar caps. As a result of these processes, the land masses around the equator, which are currently hidden under the oceans, would gradually rise from the escaping waters. At the end of this process, a gigantic megacontinent spanning the equator would be formed. In fact, it would then be possible to circumnavigate the globe along its greatest circle of latitude without encountering an ocean. Those water masses, which were originally located at the equator, would then have been rearranged at the poles. Conversely, this would mean that each side of the equatorial megacontinent would be graced by two self-contained polar oceans. As a result, the northern parts of Europe, Siberia, and Asia would be erased from the world map. The United States of America and Canada would have to fear the same fate. Strengthen Storms Assuming Earth's rotation stopped abruptly, incomparably violent storms would rage on the surface of our planet at first. The residual energy generated during the previous rotation would produce whipping winds with the force of an atomic explosion. However, if the stop of rotation were gradual, this would also mean the end of terrestrial hurricanes. Extreme storms, such as hurricanes, are created by Coriolis forces resulting from the planet's own rotation. Those wind currents that are drawn into the low-pressure area of a developing storm rotate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere, while their counterparts in the southern hemisphere rotate in the opposite direction. These patterns of motion also ultimately lead to the spiral paths that characterize a hurricane. This natural process is one of the reasons that violent storms often reach wind speeds of more than 120 miles per hour. The Earth's Magnetic Field Although the exact origins of the Earth's magnetic field have not yet been fully deciphered, most experts believe that it is created primarily by the motions of our planet's liquid metal core. Consequently, the standstill of the Earth would also herald the end of its natural magnetic field. The consequences of the loss of this complex network of invisible magnetic lines would be drastic. The Earth's magnetic field serves, among other things, as a natural protection against cosmic radiation and the electromagnetic storms that emanate from the Sun. If this natural protective mechanism of our blue home planet were to disappear, we would be practically helpless in the face of those threats. Is a life without Earth rotation possible? As we can see, the elimination of the Earth's rotation would be associated with dramatic consequences. In view of the completely new conditions that would result, the question arises whether life without the rotation of our planet is at all possible in the long run. Those plants that would be on the dark side of the planet as a result of the rotation stop would henceforth no longer be able to carry out photosynthesis. The natural water resources, which would be on the sunny side, would evaporate faster than ever before due to the intensive, continuous, solar irradiation. Due to the extreme conditions that would prevail on our globe in such a scenario, the cessation of the Earth's rotation would probably mean the end of mankind. But how likely is it that the rotational speed of our earthly home will one day slow down? The answer to this question is, it already is. Will the Earth stop spinning? The slowing of the Earth's rotation is currently about 2 milliseconds per 100 years. If this development were to continue at the same rate, the Earth would need one second more to rotate on its own axis in 50,000 years than it does today. If we now look at this development backwards, we come to the conclusion that a day on Earth lasted only 21 to 22 hours in prehistoric times. Most probably, this was also really the case. Responsible for the slowing down of the Earth rotation are the tidal forces. The forces of attraction of the Sun and the Moon ultimately lead to the fact that the Earth constantly changes its form. By the emergence of tide peaks and ebb valleys, friction is produced again, whereby the rotation speed of the Earth is braked minimally. However, 
This slowing down is by no means a uniform process. Accordingly, the ice ages of the past millions of years also led again and again to a redistribution of mass on the Earth's surface. Processes of this kind also have a direct effect on the intrinsic rotation of the planet. If one follows the scientific prognoses, then our blue home planet could exhibit a bound rotation in approximately 50 billion years. However, the inhabitants of the Earth will not notice anything of this hypothetical development. You see, the experts agree that the sun will inflate to a red giant in 5 billion years. This in itself is enough to seal the fate of our terrestrial homeland. Now we want your opinion. What are your thoughts on today's video? We're already looking forward to your comments. Are you interested in videos from our channel? Thanks for your interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.